a funny thing that sometimes I think you meet the person that you know you're going to be with um, uh, and you don't expect to and for me it was my first job actually uh, from drama school and I was playing Pinocchio in a touring company um, the kind of company where you put the set up and you do everything you know yourself really uh, no glamour attached at all and I'm I met David um, and he was actually an actor in the, the show playing Mr. Fox. I knew I started to like him because every time there was a scene where Mr. Fox chases Pinocchio, I used to always look forward to the bit where he caught Pinocchio. And, uh, and then, you know, he'd put his arms around me. And that, I kind of started to really like that scene. So uh, we toured for three months and then our relationship uh, developed and uh, very slowly. And he always says that I was the little blonde that he felt he had to take care of and he always says he's still doing that actually <laughs> he couldn't decide what to buy me for a, for a birthday and um, and we just happened to be in Birmingham um, outside of a jewelers and so we were looking at rings and, and then and that's when he said well should I buy you an engagement ring and um, and I said well only if you asking me to marry you and so he said I am. <laughs> so he bought me an engagement ring and then, and then eventually you know, we got married. I think the strange thing is because I always wanted to be an actress from the age of five, um, the, the make-believe was always playing other characters. So uh, as far as my own wedding was concerned, I didn't particularly want any big Barbie doll wedding. I actually wanted a very simple affair, even from when I was small, I think. Um, and that actually did carry through to, uh, to my actual wedding. I didn't want a huge, big, white, um, you know, uh, meringue dress. My mum thought I was going to turn up in white denim because, of course, that was the time where denim was the uniform. I mean, it still is to a certain extent, but she was so surprised when I did actually arrive in, in, in satin and lace. But it was still a very... Um, it was my choice of dress, and it wasn't down to the floor. It was actually calf length, and I did my own hair and makeup. You know, I didn't have the whole entourage that happens now, and I wanted it to be just... just real. I've been to weddings where people have said what everybody else says and then I've seen ten years later them break all of those vows. We, we actually went out of a room weeks, maybe months before the wedding and I wrote down what I'd like to say to David and he wrote down what he'd like to say to me. Things like respecting each other's independence and trying very hard to feel in the future what we feel today, you know, and not these random promises that um, perhaps are said too easily, really. So on May the 28th, 1978, when I was only 10, you understand, um, we were married um, on the sunniest day, just the hottest day, in this most beautiful little chapel on the hill um, with just greenery and countryside and hills and sheep all around. I think the joy of David and I both being actors is that um, we, we both realise that over the years you have to play love scenes and, um, and, and to be honest that's really helpful because if, if he was in any other profession he may think that you know, there's more to it in those scenes. But as we all know, when, you, when you're actually doing a love scene, whether it's on stage or in front of uh, the cameras in a TV studio or on film or whatever, um, it's so clinical, it's so cold and clinical, really. Um, it's what happens in the wings that's more to be worried about. <laughs> but no, we, we've, um, I think, you know, we've, we've, we've got through all those kind of minor jealousies that, that might be there in, in the early days, I think. Um, but now it's so funny. I mean, we've just done a, a radio drama together where we were playing husband and wife, but my character was having an affair constantly with somebody else. So, you know, I think when you're as old and wise as, as we are, no, no, David is, I'm not old at all, um, you kind of just accept that, uh, you know, that's par for the course, really. And anyway, now you're just so glad to get love scenes. 